right, hey Dylan, I'm gonna give you exercise B. It's a combination of core and some cardio and some strength. So uh, first one we're gonna do is a V sit. So you're gonna lay down flat on the ground, hands over your head. You're gonna bring your legs up here. You're gonna pick a spot on the ceiling. You continue to look at that spot the whole time. You don't want to curl their head when we reach up. So we're gonna lift their shoulders off, keep focusing on that same spot. Try to touch your toes and nice and slow back down. Okay. Next one up, we have the lateral lunge with the high knee. So you're going to start right here, chest up tall, shoulders back, and take that step out. This knee is behind our foot. Your foot is going in the same direction as your knee. This leg's nice and long. Chest up tall, shoulders back from here. You're going to push off and then back down. Push off and back down. Okay, that's going to get your obliques fired up. You're going to feel that in your legs, and it's a really good strength exercise. Next one we're going to do, grab a t shirt, uh, a towel. Something that you could pull apart, okay? Because that's what's going to activate our lats, our shoulders, posterior chain when we do pull apart tornadoes. So you're going to pull that apart right here and rotate your body. Just push your hips just like you were doing a big hula hoop. And squeeze your stomach nice and tight. You'll feel that all in here, okay? It's a great core exercise. And even without anything in your hand, it's very difficult. Um, the next one we're going to do is a side plank. Maybe you can do this on the floor or a chair, counter. Uh, side of your bed, you just get into this position, and no matter what level it is, you know, it's always going to be this position. So, that top leg, you're going to bring out front, back legs, and back. Squeeze your stomach, shoulders over your elbow, push your hips up here. We're going to hold this. This arm's going to be up here, you're going to reach in, and out, and out, and as you can tell by the change of my voice, you know, you're really going to feel that, okay? And again, it's going to be 50 seconds of work, or uh, 40 seconds of work. 10 second break. Last one we're going to do is going to be you're going to get your shoulders over your hands just like you would a push up. Spread your legs out back now so you're going to have a nice wide base. And what you're going to do is touch your shoulder out. Touch your shoulder out. And these are called salutes. Shoulder out. And the key is you don't want to rock your hips and out like this. Keep everything nice and tight. And out. The wider your feet out are out, the harder it's going to be. So if you want to make it a little more challenging, bring those legs in a little bit more, okay? So that is workout B. Again, do the warm-up. Uh, squats, lunges, shoulder circles, YWs, ISO push-ups, and jumping jacks, anything to get you your heart pumping, okay? Um, if you have any questions on anything, you have my contact information, and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out with anything, okay? Thanks.